So I have here my Asus Sabretooth motherboard that I just got back from RMA from uh, Asus and as you can see right now it's attempting to post which is great. It's failing at the memory which is not or the uh, processor which is that LED right there that just lit. Now if I take and I tighten the riser down for the water block on this side it will post properly however now this isn't tightened down all the way yet if I tighten it down just hand tight about every other time it will attempt to post now whenever I mounted the water block to it earlier and had it in the system it wouldn't post at all I just tightened down this one here and as you see that LED is not lighting so one of these two risers right here there's an issue which is causing the system to not post properly I'm going to loosen this up quarter of a turn not even a quarter of a turn about an eighth of a turn try it again and as you see no post now the processor isn't installed I do have the power supply hooked up uh, no RAM no nothing else just trying to get the LED lights to show up for diagnostic purposes and uh, I'm just going to loosen this half turn and it posts note I did not loosen this one here this one's still hand tightened and it'll still post but if I put pressure here I didn't even put pressure there that time it wiggled just a little bit and it reset and now it's not posting there's the fan still spinning so it's attempting to post Power again. See that's wobbly. It's loose. Posts. Tighten it back down. No post. Now I didn't even hit the power button that time and it switched. So there's some sort of short in the PCB that's causing this. Now keep in mind I have set this up. With all the instructions from EK, I have my rubber grommet installed. You can see that there's no spots touching around the grommet itself. And all these are hand tight. They're not tightened up with any tools whatsoever. At all. It's just a little hard for me to get my 
hands down in those cramped areas. So see. Now with the stock cooler installed, it posts fine. Um, but for my gaming rig, I don't want to have just the stock cooler installed.